I saw a poll uh, not so long ago among Republicans, just polled Republicans. Do you know what the major issue that Republicans were concerned about yeah. is the outrageously high cost of the prescription drugs? Right. And my Republican colleagues understand that. Question is, do they have the guts to take on the, take on the power of the pharmaceutical industry and lower prices in this country to where they are but in we Canada saw the answer where they to that are with, in Europe? We saw the answer to that with insulin. For whatever reason, the Republican Party decided to take the wrong position on subsidizing insulin for, for, uh, for the millions of people who need it. Yep, and they did terribly, by the way. They did not do as well as expected in the last election. That's what our job is. If you have the overwhelming majority of Republicans say, let's see, pharmaceutical industry makes tens of billions of dollars in profits, and yet we pay, in some cases, 10 times more than Canadians for the same drug. That doesn't make sense. We take the case to the American people. I think we put the Republicans on the defensive. And by the way, you may have, in terms of Social Security, our old friend Donald Trump, you recall what he just said uh, a week or two ago? He said to his Republican colleagues, don't cut Social Security and right. Medicare. They will listen to them. Our job is to create, pr create pressure around an agenda that works for the working class and the middle class. Be aggressive. Pass that bill in the Senate and show the contrast. Senator, good to, to see you on a Sunday morning. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm always used to seeing you with, like, Vermont in the background and Canada in the distant background, and I, I don't know what's <laughs> going on. You're in a suit in something that looks like an office. It's, it's, it's messing me up. But nice to see you, as always. Okay, take care.